Hello everybody, hope all is good. You're very welcome to a very late night uh, packing video for Kilimanjaro. So I think I have everything. Uh, we're gonna do a quick video of explaining what I'm packing, why I'm packing it, taking off the checklist. We're obviously traveling with Earth's Edge, so they've given us a really comprehensive checklist, which is really helpful. We're just gonna run through a quick um, video just to show you guys what we're bringing how we're putting it all together and so on and so forth. So expected to go to Kilimanjaro um, tomorrow, uh, to sorry, actually Wednesday. So this video will be coming out on a different day, but heading on the 19th of January and uh, hoping to arrive, fingers crossed, uh, all, all things permitted, safe and sound, which means that the endurance training, it's going to take a little bit of a backseat for 10 days, which is absolutely fine. Uh, I've had a great kind of eight weeks of training, training quite hard, swim, bike, run. Everything's going really well. So I actually think rather than feeling like I'm missing out on training, um, I feel like I'm going to come back pretty refreshed and having given the legs a break and stuff like that. I think it'll be good. So uh, hope you enjoy the video. Hope you find it helpful. Um, and if you did find it helpful, you can drop a thumbs up below, drop a comment or even hit subscribe. Okay, so we're gonna start with some of the basic stuff here uh, at the very, very bottom and we'll work our way up to the cool stuff at the top. So basically, uh, kind of nutritionally, you know, we'll be very well looked after out in Tanzania. However, uh, we are all creatures of habit. So I am bringing some salt tablets, um, some electrolytes and some salt sachets. So these are 1,000 milligram salt sachets from Precision Hydration. Okay, so they'll be handy to have, keep on top of the electrolytes. Next up, I have a, literally a selection bag of gels, ranging from torque gels to again, my kind of favorite Precision Hydration gels, some caffeine, some just carb, um, you know, <laughs> I'm used to taking gels, so they'll be pretty helpful to have. We have our malaria tablets, so we'll be taking them kind of from about 48, 24 to 48 hours out from starting. And um, so we have our little toiletry bag uh, here. Uh, must commend Rebecca on the Mickey Mouse bag. Really appreciate that with the S on it. Very, very thoughtful. Um, so we've got a toothpaste, toothbrush, insect repellent, hand sanitizer. We've got some lip balm. And then we've also got a face cloth as well. Water wipes obviously are the uh, source of showering in uh, on an expedition like this. Next up, then we have my contact lenses, as I am blind. Uh, also more insect repellent here. And then we've also got some SPF. Awesome. Okay, next up, batteries for this guy. So I've got this trusty uh, head torch that's brought me up many mountains, and I'm hoping it'll bring me up another one. Uh, here guys a little bit of a secret trick. I've got earplugs So even for the travel in itself, they might be quite helpful another thing as well sleeping in a tent on The side of a mountain, you know if the camp is busy if there's people walking around talking Pop these guys in you won't hear anything Um so again sleep is key. So really hoping to uh, yeah get some good sleep out there if we can Okay Yes, this is a foam roller. It's a tiny foam roller. It's the size of a palm in my hand. So bring this little foam roller. It'll probably stay in the hotel, to be honest. But uh, just post travel and stuff, be good to do a little bit of uh, TLC on the body. Next up, we have a little kind of a travel towel. I've actually opened this out and it's really, really, uh, yeah, I'm surprised at how big it is. It's a pack towel, it's called. So I bought this at a uh, local, local store in Tralee called Landers. So very, very helpful. Uh, we've got two buffs. They say to bring two, and inside here I have my Oakleys, my jawbreakers, of course. I'd probably be the only uh, idiot on Kilimanjaro with cycling sunglasses, but it is what it is. We've got uh, liner gloves, which are really handy, beanie, water bottles. So again, I'm just bringing, I have these two one liter bottles, and then I'm bringing a trusty old cycling bottle as well. So. I'll, have, I'll be just literally under 300, three uh, liters of fluids per day in the backpack. So we get water in the morning, we get water in the evening, but during the day, we'll have plenty of fluids. And um, bring a sachet or a load of sachets actually of Revive Active. So again, Revive Active, long-term partner of mine. 
great Irish company. So bring a load of Zest Active to keep on top of everything each morning, which is going to be very, very crucial. So we move on to, we've got fleeces. Um, so just basic fleeces, two basic fleeces. I've got a selection of t-shirts, of course. New Team Pushing Limits kit is coming. Um, so I've got a selection of t-shirts. Again, kind of, you know, it's recommended to stay away from cotton stuff. So I've got a lot of synthetic race t-shirts and all that kind of stuff here. So I've been pretty helpful. Um, they're short sleeve, got some long sleeves here. So I've actually got three long sleeves. They say to bring two. I'm gonna bring three, just in case. They're pretty light. Um, again, moving across this way, walking poles, hiking boots that need a bit of a scrub in the morning, trail shoes that are probably dirtier than my hiking boots, and I've got my little kind of camp north face slippers as well. These are very, very uh, cozy and comfy. So again, we've got a little poncho here. Um, and then we also have our underwear, we've got our socks. Um, I'm bringing a fairly large selection. You don't want to be running out of these. So again, one of the tips here, guys, is to bring some synthetic uh, underwear, which, you know, I have obviously my Under Armour style ones for running and training. And I've also got some actual specific synthetic ones because again, they just, you know, they can wick body moisture and stuff a lot quicker than cotton stuff can. Huge array of socks. I've got hiking socks. I've brought a couple of very cycling socks. I've got trail running socks. Um, can never have enough socks, which is great. Um, two waterproof jackets. So I've got my original mountain uh, kit here. I found this, this is so light. It's literally like 10 grams. And I get my Columbia titanium waterproof jacket there too. Yes, coffee is coming. We're bringing a large bag of coffee. Gonna be bringing my AeroPress and making sure I get my caffeine in each morning. This is just a little uh, handy little pouch thing for carrying all travel and medical documents in that red pouch. Very, very helpful again. So kind of getting there. So I have this little bundle of clothes. Again, I've got my Rafa top, and my usual kind of comfy clothes, socks, pair of shorts, pair of swimming shorts for afterwards, uh, for after the expedition. Over here, we've got shorts and we've got pants. So we've got two pairs of hiking pants and one pair of waterproof pants. So again, they're quite important to have. And again, then the last things, big down jacket, really important for summit night, down mitts, very important for summit night, duffel bag, very important to put all of this stuff into. And uh, we've got our Thermarest Neo Air, great Irish company. And um, so we've got the Neo Air mattress, and then we've got the snug pack sleeping bag. So for the sleeping bag, went with a comfort of minus 15 and a low of minus 20. So it should be pretty cozy in this. The cool thing about this one is it expands on the side. I'm a bit of a, to be honest, I kind of sleep in the one place all night. Um, so what's going to happen next is all this stuff is going to go into individual dry bags, which we've got here. And basically you want to keep all your stuff dry during the day. Duffel bag isn't actually waterproof. So if we get a heavy do uh, downpour of rain, um, you want to make sure all your stuff is dry, especially like things you're going to be sleeping in, camp clothes, etc, etc. So next little segment will be of the backpack. Hey guys, good morning. Hope all is good. Back uh, bright and early the next day to just go through very quickly things that are going in the backpack. Um, so like your day pack. So basically you've got your duffel bag and you've got your rucksack. So your rucksack is what you're going to take with you every day. Um, the porters will bring your duffel bag ahead to the next camp. And then your day bag rucksack, you'll have that with you each day. So just for travel purposes, I'm going to change it up just a small bit. Some of the stuff I'm going to bring with me each day is actually in my duffel bag until we get to Tanzania. And then I'll do a little bit of a rejig around of things and stuff. Um, like for example, uh, I don't expect the porter to carry my like 40 gels. Um, I'll probably carry them myself, etc. Things like that. Um, so what I'm going to do in this video, guys, is I'm just going to run through very quickly some of the bits that I'm bringing in my day pack while I'm traveling. So things like tech, all that kind of little stuff here and there. So I'm gonna flip the camera around and give you guys a show. 
Okay guys, here we go. So backpack, I've just got my standard hiking backpack, okay? Pretty handy, it's got lots of little pockets and stuff like that in it. Water bottles are going each side. Lots of space. Um, that's a, a map of Kerry. I probably don't need that going to uh, Kilimanjaro, so I can throw that out. <laughs> gels, you'll find gels anywhere I am, you'll find the gels somewhere. So um, what we're gonna do here, guys, right, is I'm just gonna talk through these very, very quickly. So at the start, we've got we've got a, uh, a mask. So one of those kind of cone masks for the flight. We've got some normal blue masks as well, just for, you know, day-to-day -day stuff. Um, so again, that's the world we live in now. Massage gun, as you can see, this is the size of my hand. The massage gun's pretty small. It's like a mini massage gun. So really, really handy. I'm actually gonna, I'm gonna bring this. I'm gonna leave this attachment on it. It's pretty small, again, with the lithium ion battery, I'm pretty sure you have to bring this in your hand luggage. So we'll be bringing that in the hand luggage um, with me. So we've got some batteries. Um, I need to maybe take this one out and just cut this off because my, um, my head torch takes three batteries. So what I'm gonna do, guys, is my head torch is fully charged and it's got its batteries. So I don't think we'll be using it any time other than the summit night. So, just to be safe, I'm gonna bring some spare batteries for that. Now, I haven't had to change the batteries in it in like six months, and I use it quite a lot. So, um, should be okay, but just in case. Um, the next thing here, guys, we've got some uh, camera batteries for this camera that I'm using right now. So, hoping to shoot a lot of content out there and put together a nice little, uh, nice little thing afterwards for you guys all to watch. So, I've got two Adata power banks um, these guys are pretty big, like this is actually pretty heavy. Now they're as kind of heavy duty as we can get. Two should be enough. <clears throat> Maybe bring a third, I'm not sure yet. I'm gonna see how I'm doing for space. Just to charge things like, you know, things like the massage gun, the Kindle, stuff like that won't need to be charged every single day. Uh, maybe even just this camera and my iPhone to take some photos and stuff like that. So two power banks. Again, we'll have these fully charged before we leave the lodge in Arusha. So again, we've got some GoPro batteries. So I gotta gotta get these charged up properly. Got my GoPro Hero 9, very important. And probably one of the most important things of the trip, my Kindle. So what I've done guys is just I've preloaded three books on this. Um so again I've got fully charged with three books on it. Can't wait to tear into some of those. Um, got my Garmin, so my normal triathlon watch. Um, so my goal really, guys, to be honest with you, is to, I'm gonna try track each each hike and stuff as well, elevation gain, start and finish elevations, just for, you know, uh, to look back on and to remember kind of the trip, basically. Over here, we have our selection of chargers, um, bits and bobs here. Uh, I've got my AirPods for, for travel, um, so I'm gonna probably wear these on the plane. I was gonna bring my bigger headphones, but no real point, I don't think, um, to just take up too much space. And here, folks, I have two of the kind of old school wired headphones, so this jack goes, you know, into the iPhone. Reason being is that AirPods, fantastic. However, you could drop one, could lose one or something like that. They could die when I want to listen to a podcast or something. So got to bring the old school plugins and uh, they should help really well. Bring two pairs in case one breaks, I have a second one. Um, they're very small as well. So yeah, that's kind of all the stuff that's going to go into my travel bag. Um, foam roller and kneading pad are not going there from this morning session. And I've got my little camera case. So this camera I'm using right now will go in here with a lot of this stuff as well. So. All in all, not too much. Um, pretty excited to go now.